Hey guys, welcome back to my Formula 1 2020 My Team Carry Mode. So, we are now in week number 8. So, let's see what's uh, the thing that we can go uh, in this, think of this one? in this race um, this week. So, we will be upgrading few um, R&D to improve our car and I really really need to improve this um, durability issue from putting our car has been hampered uh, by the engine so I don't know yeah I really really want to improve the other performance but we just can't take any great penalties uh, for so much. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how the things uh, will go. And we hope that our car gets um, a lot of improvement in the coming future. So, as you can see, that we're still two, two of the lowest car, slowest car, I mean. But we're not far from Alpha Tauri, Alpha Romeo and Haas there. So we're leaving Williams already behind. So now um, we're gonna see our activities for this week. So what are the things that we can slot in? Um, maybe we want to improve the morale of our uh, departments and then we might need some cash. Um, yeah, we, we improve 15%. So it's gonna be a dilemma, I think, uh, to choose which one um, to fill in uh, during this uh, week. I think maybe in future, I think we should um, improve more on team acclaim and the cash maybe um, and should uh, shouldn't have focus more on uh, moral maybe I can improve moral for sometimes but I think I, I need to start improving our cash and resource points um, and yep I'm still not decisive enough gonna be a very very hard decision to make for, for this time so we're gonna improve maybe not <laughs> so you just gonna which one so today we just gonna leave one slot so yeah that seems likely. Um, sponsorship still there. Our engine doesn't look good. Uh, so we're gonna improve the motor generator. Um, turbocharger. Yeah, everything. We're just gonna. Yeah. And our engine wear, as you can see there, 60% already. With just one race, every race we use 60%. Look at those red marks there um, for our engine, which is already broken. Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The Baku city circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. And 
as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Bottas, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Perez, Stroll, Ocon, and Kimi Raikkonen, Ricardo, Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean, and Magnussen, Sainz, Gasly, Lando Norris, and Hirani. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Fiat, Galeo, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And now it's time to head down to the track. So we are using um, medium at first, and then we're gonna go soft. Actually, I was um, qualifying a bit higher, but I got five grid penalties because I'm using a new engine. No surprise. I'm at now five red lights. We passed Gasly and Sainz, two cars, Magnussen, John and Ricardo. We passed like six or seven cars. And then we're gonna dive both, both Raikkonen and Stroll. I think we made some sort of contact, but well, we're just gonna be aggressive and we're now in P9 and we're just gonna attack Paris after this. We'll see what we can do. Um, so these are the replay, as I said, we just want to attack Paris, but. Um, Something might happen. No, nothing happens there. Just a highlight of uh, lap one, and then here um, towards the the straight, the long straight of Baku. Um, Ricardo um, gonna attack us, gonna break the slipstream, and then block him from passing us. We need to do that. As you can see, he's in the same strategy with us. Medium tires. Uh, we're just gonna push and push. And that too. And then, talking push. Um, one of the car can't push anymore. As you can see there, um, Sergio Perez is just in front of us. And as you can see, we're just passing him. Uh, has retired due to mechanical issue. So with him going out, safety car has been called upon. So because we are using medium tire, so we can't afford uh, to go in at the moment to change to soft. So we're gonna continue. But this front runners who are using soft tires. We'll have a chance to change to medium as you can see there max mustafa is very very nice cut over there and then safety car will be in um a lot of cars coming in which makes us the race leader so i'm controlling the pass at the moment um i know ricardo will be very near to us so we're just gonna make slow um to everyone and we're gonna suddenly gonna push forward and try to leave them behind as you can see we are now 500 five tens no 600 uh, almost one second now um leading ricardo and it was a very very good strategy from us and we managed to pull away 1.1 second now and if this continues we will um, wreck the DRS um, 
British for Ricardo, but no, um, he's catching us uh, in lap five. And at that time, uh, we are trying to block him, and he pushes us, and he managed to get the lead, but we have none of it block him from our racing line and in lap 7 we were called to go to the pit and I believe Ricardo is also gonna come in and he's gonna be behind us so he won't be able um, to cut us at this moment as you can see all the front runners are going uh, passing us so we are really gated to pay 15 at the moment as you can see up here three seconds is very very slow but we manage to go out um, in front of Ricardo still and now in lap 8 we have produced the uh, fastest second sector because we are now in the softer compound on the tire. Now we're gonna catch uh, Nicolas Latifi. The RS is on. Sean Delisle is in the pit. And what can we do now? From the outside. Oh, we just push him in. Luckily, we did not have any damage and we managed to pass him. And then next lap it's just Russell so our soft tire is kicking in and this time we're gonna go from the inside what a dodgy launch there dive bomb so that moves us to P11 as you can see a lot of uh, cars in front of us are using medium tires and they're stuck there so it's gonna be very very easy for us not very very easy but it's gonna be a very very big opportunity for us to catch these cars with the medium tires so basically the strategy works but we only have three laps remaining and now we're gonna catch Lance Stroll who, who will pass Grosjean and as we can hear earlier Albon um, Jeff is saying that Albon is having a problem with his car. Now, can we? They have a bit of mistake, and the RS we managed to pass Crowley easily there. Oh, can we do it? Um, with Stroll also in the same line. Yes! In the same straight line, we managed to pass Lance Stroll. As you can see, we pass. Uh, Grosjean in the house there and then we dive bomb Lance Stroll there it was a very very amazing um, dive bomb there from us and now in lap 11 still we're just gonna attack Kimi Raikkonen and we did we're doing Verstappen against him and then with Albon from the outside, yes, the tires is very, very helpful for us. As you can see there, the replay from Albon's car from the outside. We cut the stars of our car. So, which means that we have the chance to attack Ocon. He's in P6 at the moment with uh, lap 12, one lap remaining. We have only one lap after this to attack Esteban Ocon. And as you can see here, from the inside, yes, in the final lap, in the first corner of the final lap. So, can we maintain, can we keep this position? You can see the replay from his uh, spoiler there. It was such an amazing dive bomb. And here, in the final corner, I think. And in the very, very long straight light. Just a uh, slow corners here. As Charles Leclerc is the rest winner. 
but can we maintain P6? O'Connor's gonna be very very near with the RS on. Yes, we can. As you can see, that Ocon is hit our back. So look, it is very very close between us and Esteban Ocon, and we got the drive of the day. What a race in Baku! Thank you, Azerbaijan. Here's our winner pulling their Ferrari into Park Ferme. What a fantastic race it was! What do you think it was, Hans, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And there's certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Winning it. So we're gonna unlock some items in the podium pass. Let's see but what the last result has had on the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Hirani. They fought so <laughs> hard at an incredible pace at times. So I don't think anyone else did a better job today. It's time to see how things are shaping up. In the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula 1 action. I can't wait to see what's next. Me too. So, it was a very, very good race for us. Um, we managed to beat uh, Raikkonen in this race. As you can see, we twice um, caught him. Um, I can say that um, the strategy is very nice for us, um, but um, because of the safety car, it makes us um, a bit slower. Uh, but nevertheless, we managed to get a very very good result. So this is gonna be the highlights uh, of. Azerbaijan race um, looks like um, five flat lights as you can see that there's a car coming from the inside unorthodoxly and three white there and looking very hungry again so that's where we got a lot of position So, um, I would like to say thank you for watching um, and see the next episode in Canada. It's gonna be an interesting race, also. So, uh, thank you for watching and bye. -bye.